Well, this is the new GoPro 11 Black Creator Edition. I'm liking it already. Nice new toy to play with. I'm in the granite. I'm gonna be hauling some shale today. Oh, my damn back is out. Ugh. I can't tell you how bad this freaking hurts. Moving around, sore and everything's locked up. And just, oh my God, this sucks. It's hard to describe back pain, but everything's cramped and sore and tight and just unbearably uncomfortable. <sighs> oh, a choice, I gotta work. I gotta try and keep going as best as I can. Sounds like the boss is down with potentially the flu because the flu's been going around to everybody real bad. And this town's got the flu real bad. It's a pretty closed town, about 30,000 people here in Russellville, Arkansas. And once something like that gets into this community, it tends to get passed around a lot. Uh, you know, go out somewhere and eat and you're probably gonna end up getting it. So it's kind of one of those things you gotta be careful, but such a tight-knit, closed town like this, you know, you don't have a lot of choices in it. So we'll just kind of make do with what we got and my back's just gonna hurt and I'm not gonna have a lot of choices here. So I'll just do what I can to kind of get through the day, go a little bit slower than normal and all that. It just it is what it is gotta keep working i can deal with pain i don't mind that you know when it's to the point where it's completely debilitating and i can't move around at all i'll, I'll have to stop obviously but i took a pill a little bit ago it's going to take a bit to take an effect i'll probably take another one here in a oh, half hour hour or so give it a little bonus thing to it and uh try and slam a whole bunch of things to drink Go and get a soda to, for my uh, sugar content. I'll bring my sugar content. Caffeine actually helps out a lot with pain and back pains and stuff. So having some caffeine in would work. I have to be careful. If I drink a lot of caffeine, I'll end up going crazy. I've got way too much energy to you know, be drinking coffee and whatnot. My top of my head would blow off. When I'm real sleepy, I got to drink a Red Bull. But then I'll have a really hard time getting to sleep that night. So then it'll just... It's a compounding effect. If I get tired, take Red Bull, then I won't get very good sleep tomorrow. But my allergies, man, like right here, that sinus pressure, really weird. Allergies have been going crazy. It's fall, you know, so most things are dying off. There shouldn't be a whole lot of pollen around. I had the flu the other day, so I kind of figured that that virus is still kind of in my system, in my nose. It's going to take a little bit to kind of you know, get, completely get rid of it, but man, I woke up today with a sinus migraine. That doesn't happen to me too terribly often. I, I take enough allergy pills throughout that tends to not get that bad, so I still think I got a little bit of that virus left in me, unless I got it, kind of got it again. But the flu the other day, even though I was taking Tamiflu, still kicked my butt. So, trying to, trying to recover and be careful during flu season and Allergies are still kind of bad and backs out. And, oh, today's just today's just not going to be the day, but we'll still get through it. I'm still I'm sure I'll still survive. It's just it ain't going to be real fun. So we will see how all of today goes and hauling some shale and taking it easy and you know. Got my back brakes on, got icy hot on, taking some pain pills, and I don't know. See how it goes. Being terrible at taking video.
couch for the last little bit. Got Pam Pam here. For those of you who don't know, his name's Pembroke. We call him Pim Pim. And Pim Pim's my puppy. Huh. He used to go in the semi truck with me when I was over the road. My back's killing me. I can't remember the last time it's been this bad. From going from laying down to like sitting up, Ash has got to like grab my hand and help pull me to sit me up. The muscles are just strained and tight and cramping and all that. Brody trying to get Ashley to pet him. He's such a cheese for that sort of stuff. He just wants pets all the time. And I have pet Pam. My favorite puppy. I don't know what's going on with Molly. She's being weird and scared or something. She's not 100% Shih Tzu. She's a little bit of everything. So we think she has some of that Chihuahua in her. But I've been trying to just sit and not move. Been taking tons of uh, oh, generic Walmart ibuprofen. Try and get my back to relax a little bit. Brody knows better. Come here, Brody. Come on. But I'm just, I'm hurting. I really can't remember the last time I've been in this much pain. Going pee is just so hard to uh, get up and walk over there. There's a baby gate separating the bedroom and the living room so that dogs don't go um, into the bedroom. And They used to pee on the bed, but they haven't done that in forever. There's Brody. Um, but we don't let them just run around in the bedroom. We kind of lock them out here just so they, I don't know, don't go pee somewhere. But I guess that's not really a big deal anymore. No. They don't really pee inside the house. Every once in a while, they'll poop in the bedroom in the middle of the night because they'll try and wake us up, let us know they have to go to the bathroom and we don't wake up. They'll end up going to the corner, but pretty rare, you know. But it, it still does happen. But they haven't peed on the bed in a long time. No, they love laying on the bed. But I uh, got to step through the baby gate to go to the bathroom and I was pushing down on the gate to support my back and almost pushed it right off the opening and I'm having to walk along by holding all this stuff but luckily enough the guy we're hauling the dirt for or the shell for um, I got six loads and I had to quit I couldn't even do any more and he called me and told me to stop at six and I was like man my back it hurts way too much I can't keep doing this I couldn't even walk from the track hoe back to the truck. And when I went to get up in the truck that last time, I swear I almost started crying. It was just so painful. My back was so locked up that I just got to the point where I'm like, I have, I just have to stop. Oh, you see this bee's licking her hand. I wonder what you got on your hand that you like so much. just just hurts you know, people who haven't had back pain before be thankful I uh, injured my back a long time ago and tore a bunch of stuff on it yeah. my allergies are bugging me too that's normal that's been going on last little bit fall yeah so it's not a big surprise that my allergies are bugging me but I don't know what else to do other than just lay here. I got a little back roller I can lay on and kind of roll back and forth and massage some of those muscle down. But I can't even get onto the ground. If I did get on the ground, I don't think Ashley could pick me back up again. So I haven't wanted to do it. So lots and lots and lots of water. Um, decent amount of pain pills to try and help with some of it. I'm just, it sucks. So. We're getting ready to basically call it tonight, 7 p.m. And we're going to, uh, probably, well, I'll probably end up laying out here for a little bit on the couch. It's the only position that's 
gotten my back to be in like zero gravity, I guess you would say. So it's, it's relaxed, it's slightly curved. And when I'm laying flat, like on the bed, it um, pulls up my back a little bit. But I thought I was letting the boss down by, you know, only working so much. Well, it turns out we delivered the right, just the right amount of stuff. And then um, I needed to move the 315, but it sounds like it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just trying to get my back break for tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully, we were going to shoot the very first episode of what's going on in Russellville. <sighs> Why my allergies gotten so bad all of a sudden? It's just a time of year. But um, we'll do some what's going on in Russellville tomorrow, hopefully. But I might end up having work in the morning. Depending on how my back's going, I might not be, do either. You know, I don't know. We'll just have to see. But I'm I'm really hoping that I'm going to uh, uh, get my uh, get my back a break and get it to relax. So we'll see how things go. So with the dogs here, relax a little bit more. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, I decided to go for a walk. It's a beautiful fall evening. Um, I don't know, 72 degrees, stars are out. I went down to the pond we have, um, cause they have like a little waterfall and a fountain, but there was absolutely no light whatsoever. So you wouldn't have been able to see anything. Um, so I'm right here under one of the lights um, because I really wanted to read you the quote of the day. It says instructions for living a life, pay attention be Astonished and Tell All About It by Mary Oliver. She was a Pulitzer Prize winning poet and an avid observer. Her work often centered the natural world in all its many astonishing details. Her meditations on everything from a bird's plumage to the color of oysters are undeniably grounded in the present, free of anxiety about the future. Attention is the beginning of devotion. She wrote in her essay, Teach the Children. Oliver's contemplation of nature's small wonders reminds us that the simplest things have the power to change us in the deepest of ways. In paying attention to our surroundings, we can invite in joy and avid letting our negative thoughts spiral. She reminds us we have a choice. We can let the world delight us rather than let us beat us down. Some, some pretty powerful words right there, especially for me, I don't know if anybody suffers from anxiety and depression, but my anxiety has been through the roof lately um, for multiple reasons. Um, but I guess you just need to learn to smile and not let everything beat you down. So that's the quote of the day.